Hi, my name is Marjo and I am originally from Trinidad and Tobago. I moved to the UK, I want to say over 15 years ago. I work uh, for the Church of England and I work for the safeguarding team within the diocese in Europe. I had a really good childhood growing up in the Caribbean, feeling like I belonged because everybody looked like me and sounded like me. And because Trinidad and Tobago is such a diverse <clears throat> Twin Island Republic, everybody kind of meshes. We have a saying, we're like a Kalaloo, which is a, a local dish um, where you just kind of throw everything in the pot and you get this um, amazing dish afterwards. I think one of the pivotal moments um, in my life, I would say, happened fairly recently within the last couple of years. My mom passed away. She had an aggressive form of cancer. So she went from stage one to stage four really, really quickly. And because she lived in Trinidad, I flew back and forth a couple of times. And um, just before I was due to go home, she took a turn for the worse. And she passed away whilst I was in Medea. The thing that people don't realize about grief is that it's not just lin linear. Initially, in the beginning, you're like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, you, you feel the sadness, the pain, and then eventually it, you, you kind of normalize everything. Made me realize um, how important family is and close friends and the value. The other thing was that how precious and short life is. I guess it's a bit like the pandemic, because people talk about this Rona coaster, they call it. I think grief is a little bit like that, um, except it doesn't end. You just adapt, and you have to find healthy ways to adapt to the person not being in your life anymore. It has made me think about my future and what I want to do um, and how I want to give value to people. Just basically have a good life, because life really is short. So in terms of how I look after my mental health, which I think is important, to me it's like showering. You know, you have to do it often. I read, I talk to friends, I have a close group of friends that I connect with, and which I think is really important to have people in your life who understand you, who get you. I work out, take my vitamins, quote unquote boring stuff they actually make a difference. I'm getting outside when the sun is out. But also, I make plans. For me, I make plans. That's kind of the thing that I do. Do something once a month. Um, so I plan it the month before, pay for it be the month before, or save for it. And it gives me something exciting to look forward to. So whether it be a trip somewhere, the joy that I receive from just traveling, trying new foods, having new experiences, meeting new people. It really does make a difference. So when you come back into your regular, or when I come back into my regular schmegular life, it kind of shifts my perspective and it helps me to grow as a person. And that's how I look after my mental, mental health. And also I used to, um, and still do on occasion, have therapy sessions. Making the phone call, making the appointment, going the first time takes so much courage. It's not a sign of weakness. It's, it actually proves how strong you are because you've just told yourself, actually, I need help. Nobody, nobody should ever, ever feel that therapy is um, taboo or a bad thing. It takes guts to A, be vulnerable to somebody um, and allow them to support you and B, to do the work because you're doing work. It creates, it's like a domino effect. So when you feel better emotionally and mentally, you start to feel better physically and then you start to see things in your life improve. And when things come at you, you kind of leave with tools to handle them in a much better way and a much healthier way for yourself. What would I say to my 16-year-old self? You are an amazing human being and you deserve 
every good thing that comes your way. Don't worry about the people who don't like you. Don't worry about it. You will find your tribe. You will find the people who, who not only like you, but they will love you and they will support you and they will care about who you are as a person. And you will find the thing that brings you joy because you are joy in itself. Don't rush, don't be in a hurry. Just enjoy being 60.